And we'll just wait for anyone else who's going to enter the room. Hey, there we go. Hello. It's a small, small group tonight, but that's fine. Nice to see you. Well, I'm going to do this anyway. I hope this is live streaming. I'm having a little bit of a technical issue. Oh, maybe I am. Maybe it is working. <laughs> well, if you can see me, welcome. I'm Maura Sharkey Prima of the Sharkey Voice Studio here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And I want to welcome you to another of my 20-minute uh, free vocal group exercise sessions that I'm holding here on Zoom and live streaming here on Facebook, which I will later, uh, which will later be available on my YouTube channel. That's the Sharky Voice Studio on YouTube. So welcome. And this is just something I've been doing uh, since the we've been locked down in the pandemic, took a little break and uh, start to bring it back in this summer. And this is the second Thursday uh, that I'm holding it. I'm going to be holding two more on the next two Thursdays that are coming up this month. So please join me. And next week, I'm going to be working on some different parts of the voice, uh, but I'll talk about that a little bit later at the end of this session. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're watching me on Facebook, please find a space for yourself. Give yourself some room, some space to move, stand. If you can, I'm sitting at my keyboard right now because it's much closer. And let's just get started. We're going to do some just some basic exercises, some basic singing together. Here we go. First of all, I'd like to start with a body scan. So you may have had a long evening and singing it does involve the body. We are singing actors. So we do have to use the body as well. So just do some gentle rotations of your neck and of your, your waist, whatever is comfortable for you. If you take yoga, use some, use, use some yoga exercises as well. Just doing some gentle stretches here. And you can also reach up to the ceiling. So you're opening up your intercostal muscles and your rectus abdominis muscle as well. And just give it a good pull. Awesome, you can do all sorts of body scanning. And as you're doing a body scan, you can also vocalize. So what I have my students do is we, we just make some humming noises like this. Hmm, and imagine I'm chewing off the front of my face. Hmm, and I'm playing with my low. Hmm, and the upper register. Hmm, yeah, so we have to play with all, all, all parts of the, the registration. And let's just do a little bit of soft palate awareness. So the soft palate is the roof of the mouth and the soft palate's way in the back of the throat. So I'm gonna ask you to pat like a dog. And you can even snort like a pig. Just feel the air off the soft palate. You can even do a yawn. Oh, in the Italian school, they would call it inhalare, to inhale. Oh, you can also engage that palate. Imagine if you were going to sneeze. Oh, so you feel that lift, that loft. Awesome. So we'll do a little bit more breath awareness. So I'm going to ask you to inhale through your nose very slowly. And then you're going to let out a hiss. And as you're going to hiss, just check it with the body and see if you're deflating. We don't want to deflate, but feel very open in the sternum, very tall here in, in the clavicle as well. So maybe you want to put your hands on your shoulders like this. And I want you to inhale very slowly through the nose. And exhale on a hiss. anymore so you can do this as many times as you want but what i actually suggest you do is time yourself so as you're inhaling just check your watch and see if you can inhale for about 15 seconds that's actually long that's a very long inhalation so you have to go very slow and then exhale and see if you can exhale on a hiss for up to 15 seconds if you find you're only at 10 seconds you might want to <laughs> Just check in with your with your breathing. It may not be something wrong, but just low, slow breathing. If you're interested in more breathing exercises, I highly, highly do. I recommend that you go visit my my colleague David Wilson. He's here in Edmonton. Uh, he's a yoga expert. He's also a conductor, vocal instructor at Kuhn University. He does a lot of breathing and breath awareness, <clears throat> and he has something called the the Wilson method. So I highly recommend you go see his his website. He's just a terrific guy, <clears throat> terrific instructor as well. And he does a lot of breathing. Okay, so now let's just make some noise now. I can do, go on with breathing exercises. Let's just do some lip trails on a glide like this. From your lowest, your highest, your lowest. Wherever your lowest is, like this. 
but let's do that three times together. You can take a reset or a breath wherever you need to. Here we go. <laughs> I didn't need one that time. Try it on a hum like this. Let's try it again. But this time from your lowest to your highest to your lowest. We're using a full vocal fold closure to a partial vocal fold closure. So what I mean by that full vocal fold, fold would be your chest voice or your mode one to a partial vocal fold, which would be your mode two or your head voice. Let's try that together. Ready? Go. How did you do? Let's try it on an ooh, a tiny ooh, like you're sipping it through a straw. Same thing. Ready? Go. Probably hear a little chink on the way down in my voice because I'm feeling a little dry. So that was a really good way of stretching the vocal folds, a gentle way of stretching the vocal folds without having to sing any, pre any prescribed note. And you could do that several times. And as always, I advocate the straw method. This is not new if you're a vocal pedagogue, vocal, vocal teacher. This is a semi-cluded vocal track exercise. So if you have a straw hanging around a small diameter straw is great for the female identifying voice uh, a larger diameter straw is good for the male identifying voice and if you're wondering why are you using plastic Mora well I have my reusable metal <laughs> straw as well so you can use the semi occluded vocal track exercise and glide like this so the the length of the straw is to mimic Dr. Ingo Tietze he's the world's leading vocal voice um, <clears throat> pedagogue says it mimics the length supposed to mimic, mimic the length of the, of the vocal tract, hence the small diameter straw for the female identifying voice. So with gentle glides like this, are highly effective. So if you have vocal fatigue or you just need a gentle warm up, do some glides. You can use big octaves, or I should say a two octave glide, or you can use a glide of a fifth, like that. So moving forward, now that we've been making some noise, now we're going to do something <clears throat> that I have not done before. We're going to sing on a pentatonic scale. So a pentatonic scale <clears throat> on an ooh like this. So I'll start here. Who has that, that orientalism type sound? So we're going to sing on a pentatonic scale on a, on a soft ooh, a small ooh like this. Ooh. So I'm in between my mode one and two or my mix. But I want you to feel like you're singing quite high up here in your, in your what would be called your trigeminal nerve or your authentic zone. Or in the old Belcanto style, my old teacher would say, sing from your third eye. So up here, so you're gonna feel like you're resonating at the top of your forehead on this ooh. So it's quite head, heady, very hooty. Let's try this one together, everybody. Here we go, one and two. Very gentle, here we go. And again. But you're good to hear, so you're imagining you're singing at this part of your of, of your head. tonic scale as opposed to a regular melodic scale. So now let's move on 
to uh, let's do some resonance. I'm going to stick with this this resonance, and we're going to work on our head tone. But I'm going to use the uh, uh, the diction mini 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 like this. And I've done this one before. So we're going to move into. Uh, we're going to start at the top of our register and work our way down. And we're going to do it this way. So we're just going to sing. And I am starting in my head voice. So for the men, it's at the top of your mold one, um, but it's not a, like a full, thick um, vocal fold closure. It's Near voce fintap, perhaps for the women, we are in our head voice. Let's try that. We're gonna work our way down. Here we go. One, two, ready, and again. dominant. So now let's move forward with some vowel placements. We're going to sing the vowels E, A, O, A, U, and we're going to sing on a sustained pitch. And again, we're going to start to hear on the B flat four. And we're just going to sing on the same pitch. Female identifying, we're in the head voice in mode two. Men, we are at the top of your mode one register. You may feel a little lighter, also called a voce finta, so it's a, a little bit of a lighter vocal fold closure. So for, we're gonna work our way down. So we're gonna see if we can maintain this head, head dominance as we're working down in the lower register. So again, the vowels are E, A, O, O, and I want you to feel like you're singing tall, long Italian vowels as opposed to very narrow Canadian vowels. Here we go. Two, three, go. leap with you. So I'm doing quite a bit of lyric work today, not so much of quick staccatos yet. And this one I did before. We're going to say, I love to sing. We're going to sing an octave leap. We're going to sing it very legato, very connected. And the goal is to stay very open, use one breath, and to be as smooth as you can. So it goes like this. And you'll sing, I love to sing. So I'm starting in a mix of my mode one and two and I'm moving into my head voice. So again, you may start in your chest voice and move up into your head voice and land back in your chest or you can be in your head voice from top to bottom. It doesn't matter. As long as you're singing tall and open. Here we go. One, two, three, ready, two. I love to sing. Breathe the high note. We're totally on. I love to sing. Awesome. Totally on again. I love to sing. Is that lost in your palate? I love to sing. Open the body. I love to sing. Reach the right on. I love to sing. Man, right at the top of your register here. I love to sing. Ladies, toy your on. I love to sing. How did you do on that G? 
five. Okay, or G4 for the men. Moving on, now we're gonna do some onsets or some staccatos. We've been singing quite lyrically, so let's get some agility going and get the breath engaged. So we're gonna do a combination. We'll do um, a major arpeggio to the 11th, the 11th degree with legato and staccato like this. After that first phrase, I'm going to start a little lower here for everybody. So I'm starting on the B flat three. We're going to sing the vowels. Let's start with an OO for the first legato line, the connected line. And then let's start with an O for the staccati, sorry. And I might change the vowels as we go on. But I like oohs and oohs because it gives us a nice laryngeal tilt. Now, if you're doing staccatos, here's a tip. Really feel like you're using your lower abdominals here, like you're going to laugh like Santa Claus, just to keep that airflow moving. So here we go. One, two, three, go. Awesome. And I'm using a, an aspirate as my onset, so you can use the little H. Ha, ha, ha. Here we go. Um, in thirds, we're going to move up. This is another agility exercise. And we're going to use the combination of, of E and U as we do this. Now, for those who have been in my studio, you'll, you'll have recognized this. We've done a variation of vowels. But this is um, an agility exercise, major scale in thirds. Some choirs will use it as an addiction exercise. I remember as a kid, we'd sing Pepsi Cola, things like that. Um, but I'm going to sing it um, with the lateral vowels, you know, with the E, a, a lateral E, and then an O, a rounded vowel. So we're going to do it like this. I'll start a little lower. Because <laughs> I have to remember there's men who are watching this. Just to track the buzziness of your E's so you can tip that O forward. And you'll take a breath when we restart on the way down. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> register on an E, the tendency for singers is to spread that sound. Right? I'm mean, really exaggerating. But I recommend to keep that laryngeal tilt. You're going to modify your vowel. And I want you to think like you're singing in like a, a, a note. So you're going to have this E tongue, but as my old teacher would say, in this O position. So I'm supposed to really gossipy on that one. So I can change the format by simply modifying my embouchure. So that's just a tip. Anytime you have E's at the top of your register or A's, you can modify your vowel by just adjusting the embouchure. 
Okay, so now we've done that. I'm looking at my time. Holy Hannah. Okay, so let's just finish it off with one last exercise. And this is the gold standard. If you're in a choir, you'll recognize this. If you've been my studio, you'll recognize this. We're going to sing a major arpeggio to the ninth degree with the descending scale. So this is an agility exercise. And I'm gonna give you the choice. You can choose whatever vowel you'd like, wherever you are. But for me, I'm gonna start with an U and I'm gonna change the vowels as, as I go. And if you wanna sing the same vowels as me, that's totally fine. When you get to the top, everybody, make sure you're thinking of getting that, the, keeping the air moving. So when you get to the top of your register, don't stall on your air pressure. But in matter of fact, keep that air moving very fast, okay? So prepare your breath. Here we go. One, two, oh. Yes, I said any vowel. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Session. What I recommend you do, if you're going to keep singing tonight, at the end of your, your singing session, do a cool down. And a simple cool down is some glide, some humming on a, um, on a closed mouth like this. Mm, just some gentle sirens. Mm, you can do it on hung. Mm, as well. Or again, with your straw, you can just to relax the laryngeal muscles as well. Again, if you have vocal fatigue, semi occluded vocal tract exercise for straw is probably one of the best that you can do for yourself. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I want to thank McEwen University's Conservatory of Music for um, advertising this session. I want to thank you for joining me this evening. Tune in next week. I'm going to be doing um, some exercise work, basic exercises in the full vocal fold closure or the TA muscle, your thyroretinal muscle, some chest exercises. So if you're interested in, in uh, working in that area, maybe you were trying to experiment with your belting or you find you're very head dominant and you want to find out how to use your chest dominance a little bit, that might be the session you want to join next week so be sure to come and join me next week at 7 30 that's mountain standard time here in zoom and uh and also bring your straw next week and maybe we'll do some semi-occluded vocal track exercises this video is has been live streamed here on my um facebook page but i'm also going to make it available on my youtube channel that's the sharky voice studio and i am accepting some students some new students this fall so if you're interested in in uh pursuing some lessons online you can and always reach me at the sharky voice studio.com thank you so much for joining me i i would say goodbye i i have a very small group so i don't think we need to unmute our mics thank you so much for joining me take care and god bless and we'll see you next week bye bye <laughs>